Hello and welcome on my another video. A while ago I've done an unboxing of Stingray USB oscilloscope and today I'd like to show you how to measure computer power supply voltages using this device. Obviously there is much more other purposes you can use this device. This will be only one example what you can do. So let's start it then. What we got here is USB dual channel oscilloscope from EasySync. Exact model is DS60M10. A sampling rate is 60 mega samples per second. We got three outputs, first two of them, there are our channels, first channel, second channel and external trigger. So that means you can plug up to two probes at the one time as this is dual channel device. The probe I'm using along with this device today is HP 3060 and to do our measurements we need USB cable to plug this device into my computer and of course software which I will show you now so stay with me please. The program you need is EasyScope 3. You can download this from EasySync website. A link will be provided in the description of this video. And now we need to do a couple of changes. I recommend to set trigger on auto and make sure that DC box is ticked. And then all depend where your probe is connected to. Choose meter A or meter B. My probe is connected to channel one, so that's why I'm using meter A and now we're ready to do our measurements. As you know each computer power supply has three main rails 12 volts, 5 volts and 3.3 volts. To measure 12 volts you need to plug in your crocodile cable from your probe to black cable onto your power supply and the end of your probe to yellow cable. When you're ready click run and here is your reading peak to peak voltage 12.0103. To measure 5 volts, you need to plug your probe into the red cable. As you can see, it's 4.9294. And to measure 3.3 voltage, volts, sorry, not voltage, plug in your probe into the orange cable. As you can see, it's 3.27, 3.3. So as you can see, it's very simple, very, very easy to do. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.